Hi, in this video I want to talk about how to uh, set up your Google Console, formerly known as the Google Webmaster Tools and your Google Analytics, all right? Uh, you want to set it up and link it to your blog, all right? In this case, in particular, it is a WordPress blog. So um, as you watch over my screen, I'm going to show you step by step how this is done. Okay, it's actually quite simple and uh, if you, if uh, you've done this in the past, uh, you would know that uh, it doesn't take very long. Okay, now first of all, we do want to go to the Google Webmaster Tools. Uh, in this case, I'm still used to just searching on for Google Webmaster Tools instead of um, Google Console, and you still find the link relevant on the Google page. All right, and you want to sign in uh, to one of the accounts and in this case uh, I'm gonna sign in with my own all right so we're gonna go ahead and do so so once you have um, signed in okay and uh, it will bring you to the dashboard and if you're using it for the first time it would be pretty blank okay you you will be asked to accept uh, the terms and uh, conditions just go ahead and do so okay and then after that uh, bring you to a page like this that says search console which uh, pretty much uh, you have nothing in here if it's a, n a new account or if you've not used the Google Webmaster tool uh, aka search console before all right but uh, it's actually quite simple just go right to the right hand side here and just click on add a property and in this case you want to type in the um, URL of your website. So I'm just going to copy inside here, okay, using the um, URL from my website browser, okay. Uh, and in this case, uh, do take note if you have a dub dub dub, all right. So if it has a dub dub dub, just put in the dub 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 version first and just click on continue, okay. And then after that, you'll ask you to. Uh, verify that you own this website. Now there's a few ways that you can do. Um, the recommended method here is that uh, you want you to download the HTML file, all right, and put it in your uh, with your web host. All right. Now um, I prefer to use alternate methods. There's a few ways, okay, but I won't go actually into each of them. Um, but rather I would prefer to use a HTML tag, which is actually the simplest and uh, what I would recommend uh, to do. Now this is the code that we need to paste it in. Now the thing is that uh, we need to paste it in the head section so that um, it appears on our home page. But um, if you are using WordPress, it's actually quite simple, uh, especially if you have used the plugin Yoast SEO, all right, or SEO by Yoast. Okay. So if you don't have this plugin, uh, or if the if the um, website don't already have the plugin, just simply go to plugins. All right, and click on Add New, and then after that, search for Yoast SEO, and then go ahead and install them. All right, then uh, when that's done, you want to come down to SEO, and then after that, just click on. Uh, let me just click on it. Yeah, when you click on this, it's just gonna bring you to this page right here. Now, by the time you watch this video, uh, it may differ slightly in terms of the interface or the presentation that you see on my screen because um, Yoast do update their plugins quite regularly. But um, you know, the the general idea and concept uh, remains the same. So you just have to kind of look around a little bit and you should be able to find something very similar. Okay, now uh, when you click on that SEO, which is the, the icon right here that uh, points you to the Yoast SEO, uh, in this case, we want to go to the Webmaster Tools, okay? And then in this case, the Google Search Engine, engine or, or rather the Google Search Console, right? Just paste the code in there. So right click, copy, and then uh, we're just going to paste the code here, okay? So once that's done, click on Save Changes. Make sure you do that so that it updates the information on your site. And then once that's done, make sure you, this is checked. Okay, and then just click on verify. All right, then once that's done, click continue. Okay, so there we go. Um, you have just added the website to Google Webmaster Tools. Now, we are not done yet, all right? Uh, the thing is that if you try to um, let me see, I think it's the site settings, yeah, the site settings right here, and if you, you know, in this case, since my website starts with dub dub dub, 
all right in my as shown on my browser I would want to display the URLs uh, as www.dirtytruthreviews.com and when you click on save it tells you here part of the process of setting a preferred domain is to verify that you own this okay so you need to verify the non dub 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 okay the thing is that you do want to come back to the dashboard and um, oops click on the search console right up here okay and then after that you want to add a property okay and make sure this time around you add the other version so in my case it's the non dub 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 version so once that's done click on continue okay and then uh, you know we want to do the same uh, in this case I want to go to the alternate method click on the HTML tag and in this case because we have already added to the site via Yoast all right I'm just gonna click on verify and there you go okay so this is verified now I've verified both the dub 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 and the non dub 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 version also next up we want to go to the site settings okay and then we want to tell Google which is our preferred domain so since like I said um, my domain all right starts with the dub 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 I'm gonna choose the dub 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 version and just click on save okay so next up we are going to add the uh, sitemap.xml okay and this is actually quite simple so from this page you want to navigate uh, via the left sidebar go to crawl okay and then click on sitemaps okay now once you're here uh, it says that uh, there were no sitemaps found for this site so you want to add a sitemap and um, it is actually quite simple because Yoast has already created the sitemaps for us so um, go back to the site and you want to navigate to XML sitemaps okay under the Yoast SEO plugin just click on that one and then after that um, you can extract the address of your sitemaps all right so first of all let's uh, quickly run through here um, some of the stuff okay uh, the tabs above uh, we have user sitemaps so in this case uh, I would like to disable the author user sitemap post type now only check the ones that uh, you do not want to include in your sitemap the ones you do not want okay so in this case by default the medias are not included that's good um, right now not exactly any post to exclude taxonomy um, well I will uh, exclude the post formats okay for some uh, we may also exclude tags and categories just to kind of cut down the unnecessary um, uh, indexing for these pages uh, that said you know even if we check all this um, Google is still gonna crawl the site unless you put the specific tags and categories as no index all right even if you omit them in your sitemap it's still gonna get indexed by Google so um, it's really up to us to this uh, up to you the webmaster to decide if you want to keep these but for now let's keep them as default let's click on save changes all right and then once we're back here uh, go back to the general and you want to click on the XML sitemap so that will open up a new window so what happens here is you just want to copy all the URLs right here one by one and add them into your um, search console okay so let's uh, go ahead and add one now it's already got the um, the domain name for you so all we need is to paste the slug so in this case post dash sitemap dot xml okay and then submit sitemap all right now we can refresh the page and add the second one all right and uh, in this case my page sitemap Control V submit next up the category sitemap Control C and uh, gotta refresh the page add a sitemap Control V submit sitemap so now we have the categories as well I'm gonna refresh the page okay so here you see that uh, once you've added these um, there will be some data and info right here and it will it is normal to see that this is pending all right and after some time this uh, will will be updated accordingly okay 
So let's move on to the next step. So let's move on here that uh, you know want to set up the Google Analytics. So I'm just going to click on Google Analytics. Um, you can do a search via the um, Google search engine. And once that's done, you find that the first thing here says Google Analytics. Okay, you just click on that. And then uh, it requires you to sign in once more. So you, wanna, you do want to sign in using the same uh, Gmail account that you have signed in, or rather Google account, okay? And then again, uh, if this first time that you're signing in, uh, it's going to prompt you to agree to their terms and conditions. Once you do that, it's going to bring you to a pretty blank page, all right, where, um, you know, you would have to, uh, I mean, if, if it's the first time you're using it, there's nothing there, and then you have to set it up, okay, um, set up with a new site. So let's um, go ahead and set up our site, okay, and link it to um, or Google Analytics, okay? In this case, you want to go to admin, okay? And then under admin, um, there is um, this part here on all sites accounts, okay? And the all sites accounts, you want to scroll all the way down to create new account. In this case, um, since I am not going to categorize them, I'm just going to call it Dirty Truth Reviews, I mean the the website name itself. Okay. Dot um, com. And then website name. Oh, um, this should have been here. Okay, it's just website name. It's going to name it the same. And then, uh, so the website URL, I'll put in the dub 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 version in my case, okay? You can choose your industry or just leave it blank. And depending on where you are, you can set up your time zone accordingly. So here uh, it goes that uh, you can leave this all checked or just uncheck them. I mean, it's a pers personal preference, all right? Just after that, you just want to get the tracking ID. Okay, and then once it's done, you want to click on I accept. Okay, there we go. Now, then you have this website tracking code. Okay, so um, the thing is that we do want to make sure that there are certain properties that has been enabled before we copy the code. All right, so um, we want to go over to property settings again and uh, just make sure that we switch on some of these stuff. All right, advanced setting, allow manual tagging. Now, now this enable demographics and interest report. So we want to click that on. Okay. Uh, and then use enhanced link attribution Enhanced link attribution allows us to, um, yeah, so just click that on, and then after that, click on save. Okay, and next up, let's go back to data collection, just click that on. Just gonna go back to our tracking code, and we're gonna paste this into your site and uh, the thing is that you will probably need a plugin or otherwise if your WordPress team already supports it you can actually do so now in order to check whether your WordPress teams uh, allows for that you probably have to go to go over to appearance and look under the team options now for some of the more premium plugins they they instead of the appearance they do have uh, you know another option within the sidebar where you can click on the, the your your team and then you do want to do the same and look under the options the team options and see if there is a place where you could insert your um, your code so in case you couldn't find it a different way is you want to go to the plug plugins and just click on add new and after that you want to install a plugin called google analytics Okay, just gonna go search for that one, 
and, and in this case I would want to choose this one right here okay that you can insert and at, at the same time display the Google Analytics on the dashboard for WordPress so if you want you can click on more details read uh, about it all right it's got a pretty good uh, num five star uh, or rather four and a half star rating all right so I'm just gonna use this one here it's gonna go ahead and click install so install that and you're gonna click on activate and then once that's done uh, we want to navigate down to the Google Analytics here. The general settings. All right. And then after that, so you want to click on the authorized plugin. Now, next st step, click on the access, get access code. And then just click on the, uh, let it load for a while. And once that's done, the allow button will be uh, freed up. And just click on the allow. There you go, you have this code, control copy, and then just paste it over. Click on save SS code. Okay, so you have all this done up. Uh, I'll just click on save changes. Now, what we want to do next step is that we want to link our Google Analytics with the search console. Okay, so in this case, uh, go down, go back to your search console click on the gearbox on the top right and then click on Google Analytics properties okay and then you find uh, some Google Analytics uh, accounts in there and then in this case I, I'm gonna choose this one right here which is for our website and then I'm just gonna click on that one click Save click OK and there we go so now we have linked up our um, Google Search Console with the Google Analytics. Okay, now one final thing to do is that we want to pop over back to the um, SEO by Yoast. Just click on General. Okay, and then um, under which the Search Console, we could also uh, get an authorization code and link the Search Console up. All right, with um, link Yoast SEO with um, the Webmaster tool. So I just want to click on Allow. Okay, now it has given you the exist code. Just put here and then just put it on Authenticate. Okay, so what it does is that um, uh, it allows uh, Yoast to pull information all right, um, via the API from uh, your search console. Now, uh, again, You've got to choose a profile, just look in within to look for the website that um, is the one that you are setting up. So there we go, right here. Okay, just gonna click on save profile and then done. Okay, so I hope uh, that is uh, comprehensive and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me in your comments. Bye for now.